We found a rat man. A what? A rat, rat man. You found a rat and then I did a triple swan dive back onto the boat. Because I can. <laughs> you have acrobatics? He's 30 in acrobatics. His character is a level 30 right now. Oh. He's temporarily overpowered. Yes. He's temporarily the greatest. He's temporarily a god. I emphasize temporary. <laughs> you actually, I can actually teleport. I have 13 acrobatics. That's not okay, so That's two of the deck hands are going down the ladder to the raft to bring four. up the unconscious rat man to the boat. Actually, you know, I'm going to actually kind of write on that real quick because I have an easier way Wait. to do it. Worm tail. Worm tail. I'm going to acrobat Bags back go down to the bow, and then I'm going to pass. I'm going to put my hand on him, and then he's going to disappear from the raft and show up on the deck. Because I actually do have that power. First thing he does when he opens his eye is ask for teeth. Roll. Where his missing lotus tiles. Yes, where, his, where his lotus tiles are <laughs> at the tee, and he sets cross-legged. I know what he's going to do. Okay. Did you bring his uh, walking stick with the first one? Did you let him have his walking stick too? You bring that sure, up? I'll teleport that up also. Okay. I'll take it. So he doesn't have his walking stick, it's not worth it. How's he gonna beat us upside the head when we're stupid? <laughs> I, I can't wait for things. So you're saying the two deckhands didn't go down there, you just went down there and Yeah, I just teleport. went up down there teleported He's like, back hey, up. I found a rat, you want to help? Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> you want to help me? Too bad, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> Alright, well... You're standing on the raft, you teleport the rat to the deck of the boat, and before you move, hands reach up out of the water and grab your ankles. Okay. How many hands? <laughs> it's two hands on each ankle. There's more than one. Sirens. No. Not that one. Kraken. <laughs> the Kraken. Oh, the Kraken. <laughs> what do you do? Are there like 20 people on this boat named Jack? I That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know where, I know exactly where this is going, and I have I, I, I skip out of the music bar. for it too. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Can I help you? It's the hands. Can I yes. help you? They try to pull you. <laughs> he laughs. They fail. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs in their general. Do you want me to roll something, or do we just assume I pass? Are you going to try and shake them off, or jump back up on the boat? Um, Are you going to bring them with you? <laughs> I'll just put my hand on either angle and just teleport the hands up onto the boat. You're going to send them to us? Okay, Wait, you're level six. Yeah, but I can jump back up there if they're not holding me down. Okay, well... You can just you can teleport them five feet in the air and just drop them. Then materializing on the boat around uh, the rat are cool. four okay. frogmen. Okay. <laughs> They're all wearing Are you kidding light me? leather tunics. Okay. One's wearing blue, one's wearing orange, one's wearing red, and one's wearing purple. <laughs> <laughs> you are not my companion, fucking turtles. <laughs> the problem is, I told him to do this! That picture. That actually does. It looks, when I see it, that's the first thing that came to my head. It looks just like it. It clicked right in my head. Wait, what needs to be battle notes? <laughs> that's so yeah. that one's Rash and that one's Zint. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't know what the other one's name is. Uh, Pimple. They were all named after uh, okay. Wimishes. Okay, so now you have these four frogmen around the rat. They're a little disoriented from the teleport, but they're taking up stance around the rat. And each brandishing their weapons. I'm sure you know what weapons are carrying. <laughs> are they facing outwards towards us or yes. inwards? Yes. Okay. Towards yeah. you guys. They're I'm defending the rat. Around the rat. Yes, yeah, they're, they're basically look like they're defending him. And I step out of the bar, obviously. <laughs> I get a six <laughs> So at this point, then, do you come back up on the boat? Yeah. I, I, I have a, I have a question. Does anybody have any pizza? <laughs> we can win this in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back up on the boat. Having salt, I'm getting hungry. Oh. We don't. I mind. We don't have to fight. We can them in the back of the head. Okay, so Boromar's gonna step out in front and say, "Wait a minute. What is going on here? Who are you, and why were you trying to attack us?" And the one in blue, of course, of course, <laughs> brandishing his swords, says. We are not attacking you, you were attacking us. 
You took our master. I can send him back if you want. We were just trying to help him. Bormar says, we thought the rat was alone, I and that he was rat. unconscious, <laughs> and we were attempting to bring him aboard and help him. We'll let you leave once you give us all your martial arts secrets. <laughs> <laughs> the blue one is still not trusting any oh, of you. Club, he takes <laughs> half a step forward and says, no, you were trying to kidnap him, and we will defend him to the death. Okay. That's the way. <laughs> There's two ways this The one in the red... Pushes him out of the way and says, "You want to fight? Let's go." Okay. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. He is, does not speak for the group. Listen, buddy. There's two ways this can go. You can believe us; we can all be happy together, or you can fight us and get real pissed off, and you're gonna all die. I, I, I picture frogs' legs tonight myself. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> No, no All right, I need to I roll a, you I roll a 13 for intimidation. Can I say... Okay, so the blue one backs up a step, but the red one's still out front. Can I, where's this guy at? Is he, I think, this? He's open. Hey. 14 plus intimidate? Yeah, see, she rolled better on the dice. That's a 28, see? Okay. So, yeah. she, she's really intimidating. But see, she's a drought. Well, no. So, well, okay. I guess I'll say, you know... Uh, I'm gonna roll the diplomacy. I was gonna say okay, somebody, so. If you at this point, the, the blue one and the red one are still like they want to fight, but the other two are trying to hold them back. I rolled a thirty-five in diplomacy. Okay. So three of the four are kind of thinking they might yeah, no, back down a little go. bit, but the red one's still too hot-headed to listen. But I want you to roll perception. Where's that player? Uh, it's not good. I'm gonna roll intimidate. Uh, you fail. <laughs> I'm gonna roll intimidate towards the red one. We tried that already. I rolled a 37. He doesn't back down. Uh, I don't think you're not making him back down. I'm using like, a sense and no, the, way, the way the red one works, the more you intimidate him, the angrier he gets. Okay. Um, I'm using a sense and strike. Well, we're not fighting. Do you want to perceive something here first? Yes. Fine. Roll perception. He doesn't want to think. He just wants to hit. I just want to kill him. Yeah, but there's one of you, 30. and all of us are little. Okay. 31. So, the elf <laughs> notices first, and while this is happening, the rat is waking up, and he's sitting up. The rat takes the staff and trips the red one. Ah! Yeah, the last time going to fail. Thomas Head pulls a small wooden circle out of his robes with a picture of a white lotus on it and presents it to them. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the rat says, thank you, sir. <laughs> and the red one is on one knee going to stand up. And he bonks him on the head <laughs> and says, Stop it. These people are not trying to hurt us. They were trying to help. And then he looks around the room and zeroes in on you and says, Are you the one that was talking to me in my head? No. And Megan comes from behind you and says, No, that was me. No. He says, Basically, then this one spoke to me in my mind and explained the situation, which helped also helped me wake up. They are not trying to hurt us. They are helpful. We need to explain to them what happened to us so it won't happen to them. The red one still isn't too keen on being friends with any of you, especially that one. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Does anybody have a baseball But he does bat stow his weapon. Oh, that's my best friend. Well, <laughs> baseball uh, bat uh, and a hockey Actually, bat? he shouldn't be wearing the baseball bat. No. I'll just put my hands to my side. You have a mace. You want a hockey mask? He's <laughs> best friend. Woo. Okay, so Boromar. I'm not angry with weapons. <laughs> Where? He's He's doing something. He's going to attack. You better. Oh. No, I'm explaining something to him. Okay. <laughs> now you get it. Yeah. So Boromar ushers Thomasa and the cleric downstairs with. The four frogs and the rat. And tells the rest of you to stay up here, keep an eye out for anything else strange. We'll be back shortly. I go back to Stardew. Okay, crew goes back to their business, and we all go downstairs to the dining hall. Oh. Bormar has some water and some food brought in for the five newcomers. 
and then asks the rat to explain what's going on, why he was unconscious on the raft, and they were hiding underneath it. We weren't hiding, we were pushing it. <laughs> um, the, the rat master basically explains that they were attacked. The raft was put together hastily from the remnants of their boat. And he basically just passed out. So the frogs were underneath, propelling the boat, basically swimming and pushing the boat along. That's hoping they were going in the right direction. Out of <laughs> no! 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 Damn it. He set it off. <laughs> you said it first! <laughs> this was angry at me. Oh, where are you going to say that? That was normal. normal. You can't teleport without saying where you're going, right? No, I can. I can teleport across difficult terrain. I can teleport through doors. In fact, I could just walk through doors if I wanted to. Yeah, last one on the page. <laughs> yeah, you are getting very annoying. Well, when you appear in the room, the one in red immediately stands up like he's ready to fight you. How does he even see me? I mean, really, can he see a 35 stealth without even rolling? He can sense it. So can the rat. He's a ninja. Do what you're told. Kabormar tells you to please wait outside. I just figured that since these four were so ready to fight us, they shouldn't be alone in the room with you guys. Ain't no side of the TV But the adults handle this. <laughs> this is an A and B. We are okay. See if there's any out. trouble, Megan will telepathically tell she, you. We're in telepathic. Also, I can teleport me and at least one other person out of the room, so we're good. <laughs> well, cool. Actually, and Megan can teleport two people out of the room, too, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots of teleportation going on here. Okay. Rather, we thank you for your uh, offer and well, so or, if there's going to be information here, then why shouldn't it be shared with everybody? So, what? Boromar was trying to defuse the situation. He was trying to get you and the two eight guys who were... For whatever reason, the red one is wanting to pick a fight, and he's aggravated at you, so if he separates the two of you, we can have a calm conversation, and then he can relay the information to you later. I just still don't trust this. I, if there's information on a mission I was told was dangerous and stupid, I want to be part of it. All right. Well, the rat motions for the red one to sit down. You know, listen, everything's going to be fine. Stop being stupid. Sit down and let's explain what happened. So the rat tells you that they were on a boat, not quite this large, but maybe half this size. And... Well, okay. They were trying to sail the trade route to Neverwinter and somehow got off way off course and found themselves out in the middle of the ocean, not knowing where they were. They turned the boat back the way they thought was the right way, which was the way, the opposite way you guys are going, when they were attacked from underneath. He, it happened really fast. It's like the boat was rocked and then started taking on water. So they scrambled to get up to the top of the boat, and there were two rather large tentacles grabbing the sides of the boat, almost like they were trying to pull it under. So they weren't able to go anywhere, so they jumped into the water to try and get away from the tentacles, and they lost one companion. God damn it. I was going to ask. There's a woman wearing yellow, by the <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Dumb luck. I've, I've seen this movie. <laughs> she, was, she was taken by one of the tentacles, and the See, boat I was sunk, and they started to swim away. Oh, tentacles don't have blades. I hate the steer shredded. But then the tentacles oh. never chased them. The tentacles disappeared. Violet. So they quickly tried to put together to that makeshift sure raft. <laughs> I've been trying to figure um, it out for a while. The rat master fainted, and so they jumped in the water and took the raft, and then came across you guys. And they tried to grab you and attack you because they thought you were okay. kidnapping the rat. And can I roll diplomacy so I can assure them that I was just trying to help him? Or did they believe me at this point? Uh, the rat master believes you, and blue and purple ones believe you. Um, and 
Megan has tried to assure them telepathically that everything is fine. But the red one's just too much of a hothead. I just, well, <laughs> the red one's never going to believe me. No, he's not gonna and even it. if he does believe me, he's still going to want to pick a fight. <laughs> That's what he does. He hasn't put his weapon down yet. <laughs> okay, so Boromar asked him if he... He says it was tentacles. Did he recognize what it was? Why did it leave him alone after the boat was down? But he doesn't know any of that information. They were giant tentacles, so it could have been a giant sea monster of some kind. He doesn't really know. He doesn't know why it disappeared after the boat was destroyed. That didn't make sense to him either, but it allowed them to escape. It had somebody already? It had what it was looking for. Um, yeah, the, the one in the orange points out that he, it did take their friend, and maybe that satisfied him. Um, and then... You shouldn't be talking about women tentacles and tentacles. I should make the same sense. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close to where I was going with that. Okay. <laughs> any of you, going there, but <laughs> any of you in the room have any questions for the group? What were you doing all the way out here? He just told you. They were sailing the trade route, okay. got off course, and were trying to get back on course. Okay. They, uh, they come from a small village way up north on the coast. They follow the trade routes because they're quicker, usually. Um, they were going to Neverwinter to buy some supplies. Um, they're, they come from a small village that rarely has any trouble with anybody. They keep to themselves. It's just one time they got off course. Nobody has any questions. Um, Boromar says that they have plenty of space if they want to rest. Um, they're not going back to Neverwinter right now. They're, they we're on a mission. But if they want to tag along, they're more than willing to, to let them come because they could use the help. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm, I would be very much comfortable with extra help. I got all, more help than Mary. More than Mary. You see, my go I, I feel like I should roll a buff check. <laughs> Because theoretically, I could send them to Neverwinter. <laughs> How are you going to send them to Neverwinter? Same way I sent them on the boat. That spell doesn't have a range limit. four days away. It doesn't have a range limit. Let me see. There's no range limit on that? It's a epic destiny spell. Oh, okay. It's your level 30. Uh, perfect theft. It's the Sorry, first one. Hey. Yeah, it is the first one. How many times can you use it? It's daily. Technically, I've overused it at this as point. As long as he's been there and it's in the same dimension. <laughs> Not <Yeah>. anywhere <laughs> in the world. What uh, are no, 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 being hot headed? <laughs> one unattended object or vehicle. Oh, it can't be a person? Yeah, object or vehicle. So you can send the boat back and never winter. That would probably be a bad idea, but you can. <laughs> we all need to send floating in the air. And I would give you the dirtiest look of all time. <laughs> as as you know, just up on him. <laughs> I just picture him. As we're fully, it's just <laughs> okay. Like so you're down in the, the you're downstairs with down. with the rest of us. What are the, you two doing? Starting. What are you doing? I'm outside when you guys come outside. You're just standing the there waiting. <laughs> He's, He's got a call. I'm on the side of the boat, just looking at the wall. He's sitting there with his lock picks. Okay. He's like I'm stargazing and falling my nails. So <laughs> in front of all the humans. Yeah. My nails did. <laughs> While this conversation is going on, and Bormark trying to convince you to leave all enough alone for a time being. I, am. I said I'd appreciate the help. <laughs> there is this very loud bang. The boat rocks, almost knocking you overboard. Yeah. Actually, you need to roll a check. For that. Oh no! Roll well, what? Um. I don't say dexterity. Uh, acrobatics. Or acrobatics. Yeah. Acrobatics. Maybe. 17. Okay, you managed to keep yourself bad. from falling over. I rolled a five. But it was a very violent shake. Um, everybody that's else who's standing up anywhere on the boat falls down. Good thing I'm sitting. I have my daggers out. <laughs> well, you just fell down with it in your in hand. Your finger I mean, <laughs> Oh, you're now missing no, no. her in She's like, finger. she's got her daggers, and she's like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> she goes like this wall. to save herself. Yeah. Stabs two just, humans. Yeah, instead of a wall of people. 
<laughs> hey, you know, drow. <laughs> There's a second one, just as violent as the first, rocking the boat the other way. I'm, I'm probably standing at this point. Get off my boat. <laughs> yes. The frogman and the, and the rat get very wide-eyed, and the rat says, it's happening again. I was going to say, I think we found your tentacle friend. <laughs> Thomas hits taps well on the shoulder. You going to save me again? Can I see if I can like, <laughs> notice anything going on under the rocking? Do I see tentacles flying out? No, you don't see anything. You just it's feel the boat being boring. rocked side to side. Okay, I'm just going to stay on the I, I think we should probably go see what the hell we is going on. We need to go find the captain. So, Blomar says that the frogman and the rat should stay here. Put them on top, it lost them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a good idea. We're not going to sacrifice them. We don't no, sacrifice them. But if they're out in the open, then help. it doesn't tear apart the ship trying to get them. Then we can fight it out in the open. Yeah, I don't want to fight one tentacle coming through a wall. <laughs> I'd rather keep my boat. <laughs> I like this boat. This All right. So then he says, fine, we'll take them up top. Everyone up. The rat can stay below since he was exhausted. I don't. Nope, I don't he's don't, coming too. Uh, I was going to say, I don't <laughs> think he wants to come up. I don't want him to faint in the middle of this. I'm wrong about Can't this. Leave my either, Everybody gets up on the deck. I'm going to stealth. Or stay stealth. Stay stealth. From the. Because if I start a fight stealth, I get bonuses. Yeah. Stealthy. Do you need bonuses? I like that. <laughs> I, like that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, so everybody's up on the deck of the boat. Yep. Um, Where is Shock going to be? Uh, yeah. Are you guys going to go like to a side and look out? Or are you going to stay in the middle and watch? Is there a crow's nest in the middle? Yes. I'm going to hide in the shadow of the crow's nest. I'm going to stay... Can I climb Not up? Not much of a shadow. Point. Oh, I really um, need that much of a shadow. <laughs> can I try to climb? You up just stay right in the stairwell. <laughs> Are you just on the cross? Uh, like this? Um, Acrobatics. 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 I grab onto the mass. What do I roll? D twenty. D twenty. Yes. Yeah. Which is in his hand again. I, uh, I guess I'm holding on to that. The keyboard. I know his perception isn't very good, but he's stronger than I am. I don't know I where smack the orc and tell him to take a look over the edge. He's stronger than I am. Okay, so you make it up. Okay. And no, he will roll a perception. I know he's not very smart, but. Uh, it's a. Well, oh, his perception is four. Yeah, it's gonna be alright. Well, give me a plus All you one. see from where you are at this point is the water around the boat is. There's lots of violent waves and yeah, splashing, but you can't so. see actually any creature. Wait, I, I sent the orc and he got an 18 perception. I got a 25. Yeah, but I sent him to the edge. Oh. I sent him out. I'm paying less attention dude. to what's in the water and more attention to the people on the boat. And I'm staying within arm's reach of our psionic. Okay. The the orc sees the same thing she does, the churning water, but doesn't see any kind of creature yeah. or anything. And the violent rocking nearly knocks him over. Oh, do you want me to roll anything to stay up or it's strong, but uh do a strength attack. Yeah. I said we'll help. Well, I didn't go with him. I sent him. I told him, go look, come back. Okay. Uh, strength, 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 strength. I'm going to be down there. Yeah, strength, 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 strength. Uh, eight. 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 So, uh, twenty. Eight is resting. All right. Four. So he doesn't fall over. He keeps himself up. Just give me a back. Yes. All right. He goes back to tell you that, you know, he saw nothing. I saw water. Lots of water. 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 water? I no, can see just, water. He just walks back. Water? <laughs> you thirsty? <laughs> Don't drink it. You're bad. Does anybody else want to try anything at this point? I broke something at the water, but I'd never get it back. No, you wouldn't. I would take the mug that had my ale. He's been carrying it around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and I toss it. My mom! <laughs> and watch it hit the water. It lands in the water and you never see it again. Okay. It's a waste of no action. No more drink for you. <laughs> Three days later, a mug hits you in Can the I head. Ask, <laughs> I ask Megan, do you, do you sense anything? 
Does it have a brain? Um, Megan gets quiet for a minute, like she's concentrating. She blinks us, and all we hear from under the water is, "If I only had a brain." <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she then quickly opens her eyes back really wide and says, "She's not sure what it is, but it's very large and very angry." Is it angry at anything, or just angry in general? Um, she thought it was very angry in general, but she didn't hold on to it long enough to really discern. Um, Boromar kind of urges her to try again to find out what they're up against. So she concentrates again, and while she's doing this, the boat starts rocking worse. Almost like, yeah, it's, it, it, she's pissing it off. She's aggravating uh, it. Uh, uh, stop. <laughs> um, she flashes this image in all of your minds of this giant squid-like creature Crack it. with eight tentacles, one of which almost looks like it's not really flesh anymore, and it's pointed at the end. And then she comes out of her trance and says that it's Ooh, it's, it's angry, period, but then it also seems to be directing some of that anger towards the rat. What have you done? <laughs> I was about to say, but he turns to the rat. rat. <laughs> Why is it angry at you, um, Mr. Rat? Master Rat? I have not done anything to this beast. I've never actually seen anything more than its two tentacles. I don't know why it would be mad at me, except that I ran away. Is the rat considered an ally right now? Yes. Yeah, just check. <laughs> right now. Take it! Right now. <laughs> uh, the frogs take up the defense against the, around the rat again. Um, and then they ask if there's any way we can get away from this thing. <laughs> Swim. No. <laughs> Yeah, we have an engine out back. We have an outboard. Yeah, we can get away from it. <coughs> if we all hold on to the boat, and he teleports the boat, can we? <laughs> <laughs> I will hold on. Or you'll just no, see the like Looney Tunes like yeah. running in midair as you fall. <laughs> no, no, that would happen, and then the squid would come with us. Uh, <laughs> it would probably the boat. We could stand all the way in the front of the boat, and then he could teleport the boat a hundred feet in front of us, and we'll end up on the back of the boat, but he can only do it once a day, so you make a hundred feet. And At this point, I would be very times. Well, yeah. if I have... He's kind of exhausted that. If I have special senses dark vision, does that help anything? That just means you can see in the dark. Yeah, you can see in the dark. Is there any kind of right uh, porthole or anything under sea level in this boat? No. He's like, I'm gonna go under sea level. Well, glass. I wanted to see if maybe it was holding on. <laughs> I've already seen it though in your head. In my head, but I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I was it's trying to think of some way to get a. It just eye doesn't out. have the same pee your pants effect if you're not looking at it yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. This thing can go. I'm look how badass I am! It comes up. and It's got two arms. Right, right. <laughs> it comes up and it's like the size of a chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a badass. Sails up. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, because yeah, you were sailing. sailing. So we're moving. Yeah, everything's just not very fast anymore. You just can't go in. 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 You just can't